hi all so i saw that many of my friends were asking me to do a tutorial on oil pastel drawing so i decided to do one so we learn how to make an easy oil pastel drawing so you see this may be a good looking picture yet it's very easy so you need a sheet of paper a cellar tape or a marking tape preferably and i have a 4b and 8b pencils and oil pastels so i'm using camelin oil pastel crayons which has 24 uh, 25 shades in it so you can also use some other brand but if you use this the colors that i say will be matching and it will be easy for you to pick the colors so let's get started so now we can just draw a rough triangle with this pencil i have drawn very lightly so after drawing this we can just take this lot tape for you this line the second and this is the third one so now i have stuck the tape so the colors we require are so we need medium yellow so we need medium yellow vermilion hue primary red dark violet and black so first we can take the medium yellow you know our roll of line like this we can use space and around this we can use space over here and color So we need to remember one thing: while coloring, we should not use a full pressure and color. We need like shade it lightly, uh, lightly, and as a technique of merging it. So first we do this. So the reason why we stuck tape is that after uh, doing this, and if you peel the tape off, it will give a nice a border type of effect. Can just extend it a little bit. Now we can take the color vermilion hue, get our rough line, and repeat the same. So now we can take the color primary red. And at last, we can take the color dark violet. It doesn't matter if it, uh, the color comes to the day because at last we're going to just peel it. So this is how it looks. We can do. We can now smudge it. We learn how to smudge it. So the thing that we use to smudge it is a tissue paper. First, we need to fold it into half. So this is the surface that we use to smooth it. First, you need to begin with the light color. The next color orange. You can just bring it a little bit towards the color yellow to give it a nice effect. And at last, we did both. We can just turn it. I just find it. Now I find it. We can now take the color black. Can see the remaining part here. You can just give it shade. Can just shade it there lightly. Now we can again take the tissue paper. We 
it's okay the black after swallowing will produce meat again with another coat of color like we need to smudge it and then give color and then again we need to repeat this process till we have a good and rich black so this is how it looks after merging so uh, whatever we do after this we can just keep our paper and do or else our hands will get it dirty so you now we can see a little bit gap over here we can fill this using an 8b stedler pencil So uh, this is how it looks and all and now we can the last part is, is the green so now we can start drawing it so now we can take a normal pencil and do a rough sketch of the green so there is going to be a tree that has no leaves we, can, we need to make sure that we draw it as much as light so that we can just correct it if we go wrong What we're doing now is the rough, while we do it with the pencil, we can just color it up. We can move on to the second branch. You see the more branches we put and while we color it up it looks beautiful. So this is just the light part, it's okay that if it's not visible for you. Let's get it to this point. So while you are shading it, we can thicken it up. Can I bring it down and just take it another branch? And this is going to be the last branch for the tree. Now this is the rough sketch of our tree. We can now file it. So now we have Stedler 4B pencil. We can now use it to give the outline for the tree. And by filling it inside, we can use the 8B pencil.
because the chocolate is ready, we cannot share it inside. So you cannot just blow the extra dust. So now our drawing is ready. If we have a correction pen, we can just like have a put a few drops here, which gives an additional beauty to this. In case if we don't have a correction pen, we can use a toothbrush that we use, I mean not uh, an old one, and then dip it in white paint and then sprinkle it all over. It's also a replica, uh, a replacement for that. So now we can peel the tape. We need to make sure that we be gentle while peeling it up. So this is the problem with the cello tape but it's okay. So our drawing is now ready. So you can use masking tape which is more preferable as I told in the beginning. So I hope you enjoy this video. I will also be uploading the tutorials for the for all special drawings which are unique and different than the normal ones. So thank you for watching.